Hi everyone, hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another Pilates workout. So today's Pilates workout is about 25 minutes long and it is a full body workout. So we will work hard and we will work all parts of our body and feel amazing for it. So when you're ready, we will begin on our hands and our knees today. So let's come down onto our hands and knees. Okay, let's bring the wrists underneath the shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Spread your fingers nice and wide, press the mat, breathe in. As you exhale, begin to round your spine, tucking your chin in towards your chest. As you breathe in, find an arch through your back body, lifting your heart, lifting your gaze. Exhale, sit your hips towards your heels. And then as you inhale, ripple your spine forwards, coming a little bit further forwards than all fours. Exhale, sit back towards your heels again. Inhale, round through your spine, come forwards as far forwards as you can. Reverse, tucking your tailbone out and sitting back towards your heels with an arch in your back body. Keep going. You want to exhale, sit back towards your heels. And inhale, ripple your spine forwards, rounding through your back body as we begin to warm up through the spine. Try to make the movement nice and fluid one way and then the other, noticing how you feel through your back body. Notice your arms. Let's come up onto all fours and then walk your hands a little bit further forwards. Take a breath in. As you exhale, squeeze your elbows by your waist and come down onto your mat. Take your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, reaching your arms towards your feet, lift up to your back bend. Squeeze your shoulder blades at the back. Exhale, release your head, release your arms, bring your hands underneath your shoulders and let's sit back onto the heels this time, finding a child's pose at the back of your mat. Okay, come up onto your fingertips, take a breath in, find length in your spine. As you exhale, walk your hands to your right and then bring your right hand on top of your left as you bring your left palm down onto the mat. Exhaling your left hip towards your left heel, big side body stretch. Breathing in, slowly go ahead, release, walk your fingertips forwards and then take it over to your left as you breathe out. This time left hand over your right, exhale your right hip to your right heel. Breathing in, slowly back off, release your hand up onto your fingertips, walk them back to center. And then this time press your palms, coming back up onto all fours. Okay, slowly go ahead and extend your right leg back behind. Exhale, lift your right leg up, hold, breathe in. Exhale, pull your right knee in as you round through your back body. Inhale, extend. So you exhale, pull your knee in, squeezing through your abdominals. And then as you inhale, you extend, lifting your gaze up. One more, inhale, extend and open. Exhale, pull your right knee in. Inhale, extend your right leg long, bend at the knee and let's pulse the leg up and up. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it here. We're going to come down onto our forearms, keeping your right leg lifted. Extend your right leg again. On your inhale, tap your toes to the floor behind. As you exhale, lift your right leg up. Let's keep going. You want to inhale, tap, and exhale, lift. Six. Five. Make sure that you are controlling the movement and isolating it to your right leg. Make sure that your core is nice and engaged so you are really working through your core muscles as well as your right glute. Exhale, lift up. Hold here. Now come up onto your right hand left forearm stays on the mat turn your right toes out to the side breathe in exhale pull your right knee into your right elbow inhale you extend and repeat good another five four really find that squeeze in your obliques in the side of your waist each time you pull your knee in 
Inhale, extend your right leg long. Hold, let's draw little circles. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go ahead and switch direction, going in the opposite way. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hold. Bring your right knee back down onto the mat. Come back onto all fours and let's sit back onto our heels for a little bit of a rest, finding a child's pose here. Okay, let's slowly come all the way back up. We're going to do all of that on the other side. So beginning on your hands and your knees, extend your left leg behind. Inhale, lift your leg up. Exhale, pull your knee in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, pull your knee in. Rounding through your back body, chin in towards your chest. Keep going, really squeezing through your lower abdominals each time you pull your knee in. Exhale, pull. Inhale, extend. Three, two, and last one, pull, inhale, extend, hold, bend at the knee, and let's take those little pulses up and up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come down onto your forearms and extend your left leg this time. Okay, take a breath in, tap your toes. As you exhale, lift your leg up. Keep going. Remember to keep your core engaged and focus on moving your left leg, contracting your left glute each time you lift up as you exhale. Let's do two more. Two. Last one. Hold your leg up high now and come up onto your left palm, right forearm. Turn your toes slightly out to the side at the diagonal. Breathe in. Exhale, pull your left knee to your elbow. Inhale, you extend. Keep going. You want to find that squeeze in your obliques, in your left side waist. Exhale, you pull. Inhale, you extend. Let's do two more. Two. And one, extend your leg, hold here. Let's draw those little circles going in one direction. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and switch direction now, going the other way. Four, three, two, and one. Hold. Bring your left knee down onto the mat. Well done, you made it to the end. Coming up onto your hands. Walk your hands slightly forwards, shift your weight forwards, breathe in, exhale, lower all the way down onto your mat. Take your hands behind your back one more time, interlacing your fingers, reaching your arms towards your feet, inhale, exhale, lift up to your back bend. Inhale, come all the way back down. Let's press the palms underneath the shoulders, come up onto your knees. Come to sit on your heels and then roll your legs out forwards in front of you. So you're sitting on your hips. Let's scooch towards the front of the mat. Okay, keeping a three-quarter bend in your knees, bring your feet hip width and reach your arms out forwards in front of you. Take a breath in. As you exhale, begin to round your spine, pull your navel in and begin to lay your spine down one vertebra at a time. Come all the way down onto your mat with control. Once you get here, lengthen your legs, reach your arms overhead, stretch out your entire body. Okay, let's go ahead and bend the knees in, place your feet flat on the mat, hands behind your head, interlacing your fingers, keeping your elbows nice and wide. Breathe in. As you exhale, lift one leg up and the other leg up to tabletop, pressing your lower back to the mat, sliding your ribs towards your hips. Bring your toes together and open your knees wide out to the sides. Breathe in. As you exhale, curl your head and shoulders up. Inhale, you return. Keep going. So you exhale, curl up and inhale you return keeping your lower back pressed into the mat. Each time you lift up, try and lift up a little bit higher. Really finding that squeeze through your abdominals each time you lift. Exhale, curl up. 
Inhale, you return. And again, exhale, curl up. This time, hold. Inhale, tap your toes to the mat. Exhale, you lift your legs up. Inhale, return your head onto the mat. So a bit of a combo here. One breath, one movement. Exhale, curl up. Inhale, tap your toes. Exhale, lift your legs back up to tabletop. Inhale, re release your head and repeat. Exhale, curl up. Inhale, tap. Exhale, lift. Inhale, release your head. Let's do that again. Exhale, curl your head and shoulders up. Inhale, tap your toes. Exhale, lift. Inhale, return your head to the mat. One more time, just like that. Keep pressing your lower back into the mat. Keep sliding your ribs forwards towards your hips. Well done. Okay, hold up this time. And then bring your arms out forwards in front of you, reaching through your fingers in between your legs. We're just going to pulse the arms forwards and forwards. Keep squeezing and squeezing. Four, three, two, and one. Hold. Let's extend both legs up towards the ceiling, reaching your fingers towards your toes. We're going to pulse up and up. Keep going. Keep squeezing through your abdominals. Another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your hands behind your head. Legs long. Breathe in. Exhale. Flex your foot. Lower your right leg towards the mat. Inhale. Point your toes. Come all the way back up. Switch sides. Exhale. Left leg lowers. Heel leads. Inhale. You come back up. Point your toes. Keep going. Exhale. Right leg. Inhale. Right leg lifts. Exhale, lower your left leg, flexing into your foot. Inhale, point your toes, come back up. Really think about keeping your lower back pressed into the mat as you lower and lift one leg at a time. Staying lifted up through your head, your shoulders, keeping your elbows nice and wide. Keep going. You're doing amazing. Stay strong. Another five. Four, moving with control. Three, you lower and lift. Two, exhale, lower your leg, inhale, you lift. Last one, exhale, lower your leg, inhale, you lift. Hold, reach your arms up towards your toes one more time. Let's reach up and up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one well done go ahead rest your head rest your knees rest your legs hug your knees and have a rest rock side to side you can look to your right look to your left just to release any tension in your neck as well well done that was a bit of a long sequence so great job let's go ahead and place the feet flat on the mat again keeping your feet hip width keep them quite close to your hips arms by the sides of your body press into your feet push your knees forward as you inhale exhale lift your hips up squeeze and then peel your spine off the mat coming to your bridge position inhale at the top exhale lower all the way back down Let's repeat, inhale at the bottom, exhale, squeeze your glutes, come up one vertebra at a time, inhale at the top, exhale, come back down. Let's do two more. So really make sure that you are using your feet against the floor and pushing your knees forward to really activate your legs to lift up and you want to squeeze your core muscles as well, so really use your abdominals. The next time you come up to your bridge pose, let's hold it here. Stay still in your bridge. Stay lifted. Keep squeezing. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the ceiling. And let's begin to move through our hips. Inhale, lower halfway. Exhale, you press your hips up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Six. Five. Four. Three two and one hold at the top this time exhale lift your right leg up reaching through your toes and let's pulse the leg up and up so press your left foot against the mat as you squeeze your left glute hold release your right leg let's repeat opposite side exhale lift your left leg up reach your toes up and let's pulse 
and pulse so you're gonna press up and up using your right foot against the mat squeeze your right glute keep pulsing hold let's go ahead and bring the left foot down and bring your arms down hold and then as you exhale release your spine on the mat one vertebra at a time hug your knees in have a little rock side to side and breathe okay let's come to lie on our right side now so come onto your side, onto your right side, uh, come down onto your right forearm, bringing your elbow underneath your shoulder, and we're gonna keep the right knee bent in, left leg long. Okay, take a breath in. As you exhale, sweep your left arm up and over, lifting up to your side plank variation, keeping your core engaged, find extension. As you inhale, come back down. You can keep going with these, or you can extend both legs coming up onto both feet, staggered or stacked, your choice. Breathe in at the bottom. As you exhale, sweep your left arm up and over, lifting up to your side plank. Inhale, you come back down. Let's repeat. So I'm just showing you a couple of different variations depending on where you want to be. Choose whichever one works for you. So exhale, sweep your left arm up and over to your side plank, keeping your core engaged. This time, reach your left arm up towards the ceiling. We're going to pulse the hips up and up. Six, five, four, three, two, and one hold breathe in exhale come all the way back down well done let's go ahead and switch sides now so we're gonna come up onto our left side left forearm keeping your elbow underneath your shoulder keeping your core engaged you have the option of bending your left knee keeping it on the mat or maybe coming up onto both feet staggered or stacked take a breath in to prepare as you exhale sweep your right arm up and over to your side plank position inhale you come back down let's repeat so remember to keep your core nice and engaged strong through your supporting arm and your legs inhale at the bottom exhale sweep your right arm up and over lifting up and inhale you come back down exhale lift let's hold reach your right arm up to the ceiling let's pulse the hips up and up stay strong you got it four three two and one well done let's come all the way back down and then we're going to come to lie on our front so just roll on to your front from wherever you are stack through your palms your forearms resting your forehead onto your palms legs long extended behind breathe in at the bottom exhale lift up through your arms inhale you come back down let's repeat exhale lift and inhale lower let's repeat so you really want to make sure that you are pulling your navel in towards your spine each time you lift up so that you are really engaging through your core and your lower back feels really good in this extension so this is really good for your back for your back strength exhale lift up and inhale you lower back down moving with control moving with your breath the next time you come down stay here and we're going to move on to the legs so think about really reaching through your toes engaging your legs as you exhale lift them up and inhale lower back down keep going exhale lift and inhale you lower so you really want to make sure that your legs are engaged and active and you want to lift up maybe find a slight contraction in your glutes as you lift up maybe think about lifting up a little bit higher each time you come up keep moving with your breath exhale lift and inhale lower back down last one exhale lift up hold here this time and go ahead and bend your knees reach through your toes we're just going to lift the legs up and up for eight seven six five four three two and one extend your legs turn your toes out to the side bringing your heels together we're just going to beat the heels together eight seven six five four three two 
and one well done rest your legs take a moment press your palms underneath your shoulders let's come to a child's pose so come up onto your knees and sit your hips towards your heels notice how you feel notice your breath maybe taking your arms down by the sides of your body to just relax through your shoulders release through your upper back a little bit well done let's come up onto all fours and then we'll move on to the last part of our workout today. So bring your wrists underneath your shoulders. And then go ahead and tuck your toes at the back. Send your hips up in your downward facing dog. We'll just go ahead and have a little bit of a pedal through the feet as you begin to find a bit of length in your legs. Noticing how you feel. Give them a little bit of a stretch. Okay, come to stillness and come down onto your forearms to your dolphin pose. As you breathe in, pike your hips up exhale come back so inhale you pike your hips up exhale you bring your heels towards the floor and again inhale you pike exhale you lower one more time inhale pike exhale lower your heels okay come back up onto your palms onto your hands down dog as you inhale you want to shoot forwards to your plank pose so bring your wrists underneath your shoulders. Keep your core nice and engaged. Inhale, step your right foot out to the side. Step your left foot out to the side. And then exhale, step your right foot in, left foot in. Let's repeat. So out, out, in, in. Working with control. You got it. Out, out, in, in. Let's come down onto the forearms now to your forearm plank and repeat the same thing. So out, out, in, in. Keep going. Stepping your feet out and out, in and in. Out, out, in, in. Hold in your forearm plank. Keep breathing in and out. Keep holding. Keep your core nice and tight. Breathe in. And then exhale. Lower your knees down onto the mat and find a child's pose again. Taking your arms down by the sides of your body, releasing through your shoulders, your arms, and relax. Well done, you made it to the end. Let's bring the hands round to the front, arms to the front, bring your palms together at the top, and then lift up onto your elbows, bringing your thumbs to the back of your neck, your head for a nice little shoulder stretch here. Notice your breath, and let's go ahead, release the arms, the hands. And then come up onto all fours again. Bring your right knee forwards to your pigeon pose, to your pigeon stretch. Keeping your hips square to the front. Breathe in, lengthen through your spine. And then as you exhale, begin to walk your hands out forwards. Finding your sleeping pigeon, maybe settling onto your forearms, maybe forehead. Hold here and breathe. If this doesn't feel enough for you, you can bring your right foot a little bit closer towards the left corner of your mat to feel a little bit extra in that outer right hip. Focus on your breath and focus on your stretch. Okay, let's inhale, slowly begin to walk up, come back up to your upright position. And then let's go ahead and switch legs, take your right leg back and bring your left knee in between your hands. Finding your pigeon variation. Keeping your hips nice and square, maybe extending your left leg a little bit forwards towards the right corner of your mat. Walk your hands out forwards whenever you are ready, settling in on your forearms, hands, wherever you are. Focus on the stretch in your outer left hip this time. Hold and breathe. This should feel really amazing after all that work we did for our glutes today. Okay, slowly inhaling, begin to walk back up, coming to an upright position. And then bring your right foot forwards this time. So both legs are out in front of you. You are seated on your hips. Shake your legs out, legs long. Inhale, arms up. As you exhale, hinge forwards, reaching your fingers, your arms forwards. Bring your hands anywhere along your legs, your mat, your feet, whatever you have, hinging at the hips. Focus on the stretch in the backs of your legs. You can point your toes towards you to feel a little bit extra if that feels nice for you today.
Okay, let's go ahead, reach the arms forwards, inhale, come up, and exhale, release your hands, release your arms, and shake your legs out. Okay, let's come to sit on our hips now. Or come to any other comfortable position. Maybe you want to sit cross-legged. Bring your arms out, hands out by the sides of your body. Breathe in, take your right arm up and over. Big side stretch. You can bend into your opposite elbow. You can come down onto your forearm as well. Let's breathe in, return. Exhale, release your arm, other side. Inhale, bring your left arm up. As you exhale, take it over to your side stretch on this side. Hold and breathe. Okay, let's breathe in, come up. Exhale, release your arm, your hand. Let's take both hands over to the left. Rotate your left shoulder back. Keep your spine long. Your hands can be anywhere on the mat, your legs, or they can hover. Breathe in, come through to center. As you exhale, twist over to your right. Twisting your right shoulder back. Find that length in your spine. Inhale, come back through to center and exhale here. Okay, breathing in, let's sweep the arms all the way up, bringing your palms together at the top, big arm circle. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Thank you so much for coming in and joining me today. I really, really hope you enjoyed that little practice, that little workout. I hope you feel really amazing for it. If you did enjoy it, as always, remember to please like and subscribe. And at the minute, I am trying to post one Pilates video every Monday and a yoga workout or yoga practice every Thursday. So if you wanted to follow along, that's my schedule. Thank you for coming in today and I hope to practice with you again real soon. Sending you all my love.